Recently, I came up with the perfect plan. I created a spreadsheet where I categorized everything within the log in different tiers of difficulty. I can now use this spreadsheet to generate random tasks based on which tier the account is progressed on. After 100% completion of each tier, I will move on to the next one until finally completing the elite tier. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we managed to get the mining gloves by mining close to 6000 iron ore in the mining guild. And after that, we escaped from a few PKers while collecting the gold needed to get Bones to Peaches from the Mage Training Arena. Okay, so unlocking Bones to Peaches has been completed the last time, so 6% easy now. Let's see what our next task will be. Let's generate a new one. Void Night Gloves. Well, looks like it is Pest Control Chapter 2 coming up. Won't take too long because we already have all of these stats and it's only 150 points now. Alright, I got my trusty adamant sword and we are heading back to pest control. Let's get this task done. In about 4 minutes. <laughs> I have returned to the land of absolute champions. Can't wait to die over and over again, but hey, we'll get through it in no time. It is such a privilege to be able to battle alongside people such as Dad's Nutsock. And we died. Ah. Uh. Yes, I am growing very strong. My muscles are getting bigger. Okay, shout out to this week's champion of the day. <coughs> Mr. My Granite. That's what really makes these low level pest control grinds a lot more bearable, seeing these absolute chats at work. 3 points, which means we now have 50 in total, and 100 to go for the gloves. No, protect the knight! The struggle is real in this low level boat. Don't think we'll make it because these portals ain't dying at all. But the void knight is. RIP. Okay, that is 101 points, 49 more to go until we are done with the task. And we're getting a decent amount of cash again as well from this grind. This is the final game guys. 152 Void Knight Commendation points. We are done once more, didn't take too long at all compared to the previous pest control grind. So let's take a look at the shop. Void Knight Gloves, 150 points. And confirm. There we go, we got them. Probably the first piece I'll actually end up using once we get the other Void pieces in the medium tier. Because in the easy tier, the only thing left from pest control is the Void Knight seal, which is only 10 points, so that'll be done in no time, but it's pretty useless. Oh, and actually, fun fact, they are better than the green DI'd Vam races for defense bonuses. So for my melee training, it's actually the best gloves I have at the moment, which is pretty funny. Well, let's complete our task. And let's get ready for the next one. What will it be? Let's find out. Generate task. Get the next tier of metal boots. Alright, not too bad. So that means iron boots. And let's look into how we will be able to get them. So how do we obtain these iron boots? Well, there's two monsters that drop them. One being cockatrice and the other being cave slimes. Cockatrice are 37 combat and require 25 slayer to kill with an uncommon drop of the boots, while cave slimes are 23 combat and require 17 slayer to kill with the boots being a rare drop. Logically the best option for us to go for right now are the cave slimes, so time to get 17 slayer. Alright so before we start actually training some slayer let's go and do the Varrock Museum quiz first like many people talked about in a previous uh, video somewhere and get some free slayer xp before we start training we only need level 17 so it won't take too long but the museum will give us 1k xp i believe so that's a nice start sure thing orlando buddy i'll help you out let's do this and that's the final one let's head back to orlando and claim our reward there we go 1000 slayer and hunter xp we now have level 14 Slayer and we need 3 more levels. 
Now that we are also much higher combat than last time we trained Slayer, we can go and get a task from Vanaka. Okay, let's see what we get. Ah, cave box. Okay, easy. That is our task completed and this being our fifth one, we also get our first Slayer points. Now before I get this next task, I'm going to tell Vanaka and the other Slayer Masters to stop looking at my combat level when assigning me tasks. So that we can get some higher level ones and hopefully this will help me get some better tasks to get better XP rates. So let's see. Okay, Ankus, not too bad. So I just spent 10 minutes in the security stronghold dropping aggro. But after killing one Anku, I quickly realized that I shouldn't be killing them here to avoid completing the Skull Scepter piece task. So instead I'm heading over to the Gnome Stronghold to kill them there. What I'm doing here is using the NPC Aggression Timer plugin from Runelight so that I can see the area in which I'm currently losing aggro in. Now after 10 minutes I'll be able to walk in the Anku room without them attacking me and then I can safe spot them on the rocks. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with NPC movement, the basic idea is that they prioritize west and east movement over north and south movement. So what this means here is that I can lure the Ankus to the side of this rocky area and then I can safe spot them around the corner from the south. So just to give you an idea, I'll attack this Anku, lure it north and then step around the corner. And there we go, perfect. And that is the final Anku kill for now. 17 Slayer, that's what we needed for the cave slimes. So it's time to head over to the Lumbridge Swamp Cave to get our iron boots. There they are, our new best in slot boots. Took me 48 kills, so again not too bad at all, even though I'm not sure what the exact drop rate is as the wiki just lists it as rare. But that's another task completed, so let's get the next one. We are getting ever so close to the 10% easy completion, but what will be the next goal to work towards? Ooh, that's a pretty good one actually. This means that we can unlock Fossil Island and for that we need to get a few more requirements done. So let's take a look at what this really entails. Now, personally I never even knew these nodes existed before making this account, so I assume many of you won't know either. Well, on Fossil Island there's this house on the hill and it has a basement nobody ever really visits because there's no real reason to. But in this basement, these stone chests can be found. In order to open them, you have to use 100 Numelite on them each time and it has a random outcome with three possibilities. Either nothing happens, or you get dealt a little bit of damage, or you get one of the various nodes which is of course what we are after. In order to get there in the first place though, we still have to complete the Bone Voyage quest and this has a few requirements, namely 100 Kudos and the completion of the Dickside quest. For the dig side quest, I also need to get 10 agility, 10 herblore and 25 thieving. After which I also need to do a few more quests to get the total kudos needed. So first I'm gonna start off by heading over to the western provinces area to first complete the Hazil cult quest and then work on 10 agility and 25 thieving. Oh you young little rascal, take this. Oh, get away from me. Oh. Alright, that's the first quest completed, Hazil Cult, and we also get 11 thieving from this, so that's some decent starter levels. That is 10 agility ticked off, the first requirement for the Dickside quest. Gonna head back over to Ardi and get the thieving levels as well. While I'm here, I'm also gonna get myself two ropes from the Ardi general store. While getting these thieving levels, I might as well bank all of the cakes I'm getting because right now I don't really have that much food in the bank. The only thing I've gotten so far are the wines, so there's gonna be a decent supply. Alright, 20 thieving. 
I could go to the silk styles now, but I think I'm gonna continue cakes for now until level 25 to get some more food. And I think it's more valuable to get that rather than the little bit of GP I could get from the silk. 25 thieving, that's another skill done. Now all that's left is 10 herblore for the dig side. But first I'm gonna do Merlin's crystal while I'm near anyways. So let's head over to Camelot. I have freed Merlin from the crystal. There we go, Merlin's crystal completed, that'll be 5 kudos later on. Thanks to my buddy Tukan over here who actually wasted 1 hit points XP on his 10 HP account to help me out with this quest. We finished Shield of Ara, so just 3 more quests to go, 10 Herblore and then we can start working towards the Bone Voyage. I'm out here with Luna Task and Cheesy Task, 2 other people that started a task only Iron Man and we are here absolutely murdering the shit out of these goblins. I need 25 bones for the third key for um, Demon Slayer, so just gonna kill some goblins. And that is Demon Slayer completed as well. We have unlocked the Herblore skill, which gives us level 3 Herblore as well from the quest. Now we just need to get it up to level 10 so that we can do the dig side quest. There is another strength level. Now I'm killing these chaos druids to get my 10 herblore. But this raises a question for future herblore training because eventually we'll need level 90. I'll leave a comment down below which I will pin and I'd love to hear your response to it. So check it out. Just got 49 strength and I'm still working on getting these herbs. Okay, this should be the final one. 10 Herblore finally. It <laughs> took quite a while killing the Chaos Druids for the necessary ingredients. But now we have all of the requirements done for the Dig Side quest. So let's get to it. Boom! Look at that XP right there. Also got 2 gold bars and 20 quest points in total now. We got up to 17 Herblore from level 10, so that's pretty nice. No mining level though, because we are already at a fairly high level there. But there we go, we are now ready to go to the museum in Varrock. We can clean the finds, claim the rewards from the other quests we've done. And then we can start the Bone Voyage quest and get to Fossil Island. So right now I have 28 kudos from the museum quiz we've done earlier. And if I talk to the guy over here, he should give me 25 more kudos for 5 quests we have done. And I believe he will also give me 2 experience lamps for 2 of those quests. Alright, we now have 53 kudos in total and like I said he also gave me 2 antique lamps which each will grant me 1000 XP. I think I'll just pop these on prayer because they require a skill level of 20 to be used so the other skills aren't really that interesting. Here we go, 1000 and 2000 XP, got us up to level 24. Now it's time to clean some finds for the final kudos. Now while cleaning these finds I actually just got a clean necklace as well. So if I show it to one of these guys over here. It should give me the option to make dig site pendants eventually by enchanting ruby necklaces. So that's a nice little unlock, getting it done early on. Case 37 it is, the final symbol for the 100 kudos. Pop it in the display case over here. And there we go, we now have 103 kudos. Now we just need some vodka and an unfinished marital potion and we are ready to set sail to Fossil Island. Grab myself two vodka from the groceries over here at the Grand Tree. Luckily I also had one Marintil left from the Chaos Druid grind from just before. And we are now ready to start the quest. Smooth sailing boys. We have made it to Fossil Island and we completed the Bone Voyage quest. Sweet, now we are where we had to go. Now I just gotta figure out the best way to get the Numalites. Also, what's rather unfortunate is that I don't have any construction levels yet, so I can't build anything in this campsite just yet. So for now, we just have to go to the bank chest up north on the little island. And I think what I'm gonna start off with is trying out a little bit of swimming. Did my first swimming session and I actually got a medium fossil fairly early on. 
So what I'm gonna do is sell this for 200 Numelite, which you can do at the campsite. And then I can get two attempts at opening the chest to see if we can get the note early on. Alright, let's trade the fossil collector over here in the bank area. Uh, sell one fossil and we now have 218 Numelite. Now we can head over to the house on the hill and see if we can get the note. Here we are in the house on the hill. Now we have to go down this trapdoor in the corner right here to go to the basement. And this is where these stone chests are found. So I've never been here in my life. But let's see what happens if we search one. Uh, it has the exact size of a Numelite. Okay, so I have to put in one Numelite first in order to unlock it. And I think I should be able to gamble 100 now, so feed it more Numelites. Yes, insert 100 Numelites. And nothing happens. <laughs> Great, perfect. Well, time for a second attempt. Insert 100 Numelites again, and we take some damage. Okay, no note so far, back to swimming I guess. Alright, nice, we got another small fossil, so that means another 100 Numelite as well. One more chance at the chest. Gonna round up my current Numelite here to 100 as well, so that I have two more attempts. So another thing I'm getting from this swimming are these tears, which I can trade in at Mayrin for some agility and thieving training. That's all of the tears I had so far, which got me up to 12 agility and 26 thieving. Just traded in my small fossil, two attempts, ready to go, here goes nothing. First one. Nothing happens. Come on, baby. Second one. Ah, damn it. Okay, so after doing the swimming a little bit, I think I'm gonna kill some ammonite crabs instead. I'm not really enjoying the swimming with these low levels and without the proper diving equipment, I don't think it's the best way to go about it. So let's see if the crabs give us some better luck. 50 strength coming in hot. Wow, after just 4 kills, I got this medium fossil right here, so another 200 Numelite ready to go. Not sure which god I have to pray to for this, but whichever one it is, I hope he's receiving my prayers. Here we go again. Nope. Second attempt. Nope. Oh well, guess that's why I'm an atheist. Received another small fossil, another 100 Numelites going into the chest, and we get nothing again. Alright, got another 100 Numelites just from killing the crabs from the Numelite loot itself. <sighs> Alright, another 100 Numelite from the drops, and had another small fossil, so that's another 100 Numelites. We got it boys, the scribbled note, awesome, sweet. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, similar to that observed in the birthing pool. The spore on this island have the potential to inhabit the host, creating a symbiotic relationship between fungus and creature. Yeah, I guess that's pretty neat. So looking at the collection log at the section of fossil island nodes, we now have the first one checked off. And if we use it on the fossil island notebook, it gets put in and there's probably some extra information in there somewhere. Awesome. That's our task completed. Back to the spreadsheet we go. Okay, now that we got our unique note from fossil island, that's another task complete. And let's see what our next one will be.